Gary, uh, back with some cricket at the moment. You've got the Northerns and the Southern, had the two-day matches. How, what have you uh, noticed so far uh, and as far as your preps? Uh, it's been great. It really has been good. Um, the, the, uh, the sort of uh, just standard of play has improved dramatically. It really has. And, you know, we've got, we've got 100 uh, with Chipo uh, on Monday. Uh, Mirian is batting really well. So the batters have really batted well and the bowlers have really, um, you know, sort of stood up as well. I know that Lorraine Chuma got a fiver as well, so just the whole standard I think is really improved, um, and I'm loving to see you know youngster now in Kellis look, looking like she's going to take her, her side home, and, uh, and and if she does that, she'll probably get a hundred as well. So you know, just the whole standard is is really improving, and and that's really pleasing. And looking at Kellis, the maturity of when she she handles her innings must bode well for cricket going forward, and and also the qualifiers later this year. Absolutely, I mean, she 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 works really hard at her game, and she she's she's very coachable. Um, as in she listens and, and, and that's, that's a huge trait of hers um, and that's why she's going from strength to strength um, and, and like I said she does work hard and she deserves all that success and it actually it's looking really good for us uh, moving forward with all the, all, all the sort of national players putting their hands up and, and being counted. Someone who's made a comeback after the injury, Mechon Havunga? She's done really well, she's, uh, she's looking strong, uh, she's bowled exceptionally well the other day to win the game for her, her side. Um, so yeah, we um, and we've got a, a couple of youngsters coming through and and pushing, pushing uh, all the players at, at, in the national side. So yeah, you know, it's the the ladies' games in a very very healthy state. And having player like you talked about the national team players, we'll put in there Tasman Granger coming in making some runs as well, and also uh, Marianne uh, just come back from a stint in Ireland. They're being around in, in this particular not just for their own preparations that also bodes well for the young players around them, isn't it? Absolutely, you know, um, the girls can learn a lot from Mary and she's been to Ireland and, and come back very focused and, and it's, it's really exciting to see uh, how focused she is. Um, Josephine also flew in today, she's looking great and, 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 and hopefully she'll, she'll, she would have learnt a lot to, in, in the UK. So yeah, and, and if the, the youngsters can learn from, from players like that and you know, obviously Taz coming and making some runs, uh, which is just great. Like I said, the whole standard is really, really improving, which is very pleasing. Uh, one more match to go after this. Is there anything in particular you've done with these particular matches, or is it just uh, the girls getting them back into playing, into the groove of playing? No, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh, something we have done is is get all the uh, provincial coaches in. Um, so this is a, a coach education program as well as a, a player education program, and that's that's gone really really well. Uh, the coaches have have come and worked really hard, and we've worked together. So we you know we're working as a unit in, in the ladies game, and, and I think it's been it's been very beneficial. And I think again, so when the ladies move away, and you know the 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 the, the hard work can continue outside of just the camps. Okay, all the best. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.